Hi everyone, Shane Arman Rowe here. This video is a complimentary video to the version six of my MU Deck for Beginners guide. This is gonna specifically cover Azahar, the brand new 3DS emulator. Let's get started. First off, make sure you're updated to the latest version of MU Deck. This just came out. You may not have an update yet and you'll see some sort of an update probably when you run it. So you go under Manage Emulators, you will probably see Azahar right here. If you do see an install here, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't kill you to do a reinstall update. I'll do it in also just to make sure. They, uh, they're moving copies of this pretty quick, so they're upgrading it and updating uh, things, so we'll make sure that we have it. Never hurts to update the configuration. This is going to set all your controls and everything else. Believe me, you want to do this because otherwise you have to set it up yourself. All right, so now that you have Azahar here, obviously you're going to need some game images. Now, of course, this is the part that I've got to tell you that uh, downloading game images from the internet is illegal, even if you own the game. Decrypting software using keys is illegal, even if you own the game, blah, blah, blah. Okay, my, um, uh, my duties have been discharged. So what I have here is a handful of games, and you're probably wondering, what's the CCI crap? So CCI is a non-Nintendo red flag file extension. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it. Basically, they want to divorce themselves from the .3DS uh, suffix on the file names. Now, if you happen to have them named 3DS, they'll still work, but you won't see it inside the emulator itself. I'll be launching from ESDE, so it won't really matter. Just understand that if for some reason you have a game in here and uh, it's not working, you probably need to rename it to CCI. Doesn't change anything. Of course, they have to be decrypted, so it's not just enough to have a 3DS title renamed to CCI. It has to be decrypted. Again, I can't really help you with that because that's, uh, that's a legal problem. So now we have some games. Now we're ready to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go back to gaming mode because all emulation seems to work better from gaming mode. So let's go there now. Now we're ready to hop back into ESDE and I guess I'm gonna have to go get it. Sorry, I'm doing this over a microphone, folks. Sorry to be uh, a little slow here. No, 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 this is a nice fresh install. So I got all the warnings and stuff still. So we'll go ahead and run ESDE. Now you may get some sort of a warning here that looks just like this. If you do, we're gonna fix it. If you don't, don't worry about it. By the time um, the MU deck version tomorrow hits, or I guess it'd be today now, <laughs> by the time that hits, he should have it fixed. So I'm gonna hit okay. We're gonna use the menu button, go down to other settings alternative emulators, and it should be pretty obvious what the problem is here. <laughs> okay, and then choose Azahar standalone, perfect. Now you should never see that nasty little message again, and we're ready to go. Go to 3DS, and you'll see your games listed here. Remember Sonic Generations was a 3DS file, and it still shows up here, and we'll prove that it still runs. Uh, it's just the main interface of as a hard that won't show a 3DS game. So let's start with something fairly lightweight. This is Nano Assault. I really dig these sort of games. Now, I will tell you right now, you're probably going to be better served by playing around in desktop mode. We're gonna do it here just because. All right, Nano Assault, blah, blah, blah. Touch screens down here. Ah, A button, here we go. New game. Now you're probably wondering, how do you make all the changes? Um, all that good stuff. Um, if uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it with a keyboard. Now I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but if you hit F11, it'll bring up the emulator and I'm gonna use my uh, mouse here. So now you can choose what sort of a layout that you want. Now, this side-by-side -side's probably pretty good. There's a hybrid screen. Side-by-side's not bad if you need to see both screens. Uh, if you don't, for some reason, you could definitely go into a single screen layout, which will just show 
the one screen. Um, but there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Um, there's custom layout even that you can do. For now, we'll leave it like this. That's okay. We'll do quick story mode. And let's see, I think we can skip this intro, can't we? Maybe not. All right, so let me show you a few other things. So once again, this is your top screen here. Your bottom touch screen will appear here. Underneath um, emulation and configure, this is where you're gonna find the stuff that you're probably looking for. Again, this is easier to do in desktop mode while you're playing around with this, but I wanted to get the best possible experience. So if you go to graphics, right now we're set for 2X native. This is probably a very good number to stay with, especially on the Steam Deck. Um, if you're having trouble and the game is running poorly, go down to native. It's gonna look a little blockier, but that's the way we gotta go. Uh, enable uh, linear filtering, you could probably turn that off. Uh, as well if you have some performance problems and you can use some of these to overcome some of the low uh, the lower resolution internal uh, resolution uh, scaling so there's that um, there's a ton of other things for you to look at but remember emu deck already did all the hard stuff including the controls and everything else so you probably don't have to touch much. In fact, I, I, outside of screen configuration, I think um, for the most part, you can use what's here. All right, so let's take a quick look here. Again, I apologize, I'm doing this, um, I'm doing this over a microphone here, but I did want you to see what it looked like and how it performed here on the Steam Deck. It looks very good, even with 2X, uh, the just just 2x internal resolution. Um, you can see down here, uh, we're starting to have a little bit of frame rate deal, um, but I think once you're inside the game, life will be a little bit better, it smooths up a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, as things load, etc., etc., you may find some performance things. Now, if this hitching that you're seeing from time to time bothers you, then obviously you could go back and play with that visual. So how bad does it look, right? So in this case, we could go ahead and go to a single screen. There we go. So now we don't have to, we get that extra space now. And you can see it's, it's, it's cleaned up, right? It's nice and smooth now. Some shooting going on, right? This is a great, it's like a twin stick shooter. I, I really enjoy this game. But I mean, we got other stuff to look at. So let's try loading another file. Okay, wait, let's not do that. That would be something you'd do in desktop mode. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Yeah, it's one of those. So we're probably gonna have to map a button for this. Hmm. Let's go back to full screen. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to figure out a button mapping for this so we can get out. For now, you can go ahead and just hit the Steam button. Go to Azar and close window. That'll be your workaround until we get the rest done. So let's take a look. Um, now this is a CIA file that I decrypted and renamed to CCI. I don't know whether this is gonna run or not. I was just curious to see if it would. Oh, there it goes, it did work. I always have a soft spot for these heavy fire games. You know, it's just one of those things. So this one, I probably am gonna have to use a mouse, create, uh, again, reaching over doesn't help. Anyway, so you can see that it runs, so that's pretty cool. And again, um, for now, we're gonna have to figure out how to map that button. By the time you see this, we'll probably already have it figured out, so we'll close the window. Perfect. Now we can try something else. Let's try, oh, I did say we were gonna look at Sonic Generations, right? Let's take a look at that. Now remember, it said it's a 3DS and it wouldn't use a 3DS file, but you can see it totally does. <laughs> it just won't show it in the main interface. Now you'll notice I'm purposely not showing any Nintendo stuff. Sorry. I'm not sorry, but I am sorry, because that's probably what you came to see, but... There's not going to be any of that going on.
You can see it looks pretty good. Now, obviously there's gonna be probably some shader stuff, right? We all suffer from shaders, but as you can see going over the same areas, it definitely speeds up. Of course, I'm not doing well, but that's okay. I just wanted you to actually see it running. Okay, and once again, little muscle memory here. That X to close, B for back, and you're done. That's pretty much it. Now, if you wanna see more Azahar videos, if you wanna see more about multiplayer online, I'll do what I can while skirting around using Nintendo properties. Unfortunately, there's a lot of stuff that I can't show <laughs> because the second I throw up anything from Nintendo, uh, I get squashed like a bug. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me what you wanna see more of. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time.